Hey everyone, Occupy Oakland has really come to divide the city of Oakland in a lot of ways. And there are people who understand the movement like I do, but have come to disagree with its tactics. There are others who are anarchists who want basically overthrow the United States as we know it. There are people who just want something done, and there are people who just want everything to go away. But the basic problem is that a lot of people are very frustrated. And I can't think of a better video to show you than this one of Councilmember Nancy Nadell from last December, where she goes on this, listen for a minute, rant. Check it out. I can't in good conscience give the port or any business indefinite protection from protest against potential labor or other abuses. We should not be doing that. Not only in Oakland, but across the country, I'm really disturbed that many directors and company heads representing workplaces from banks to investment firms to ports nationally all claim their workers are the 99% and their workplaces should not be the target of protest. But the problem is that they just trickle down meager dollars in comparison to their own. It's silly. We have learned that it's valuable to post an agenda a couple weeks in advance. So when people come to a meeting, Excuse when people come me. to a meeting, they know what's on the agenda. That, that, excuse me, excuse Stephanie. Me. Don't just say, listen for a minute. 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 There are things we all have learned in our long lives that we can share with each other to make a stronger movement. We are not all enemies of each other. I am asking for all of us to listen to each other more to develop a way to communicate with each other that respects people of like mind and make some progress instead of clashing with each other over, over little stuff. I understand that there are problems, but not all of us on the council have advocated for violent police action. Many of us have fought against it for decades. So when people stand up here and treat us all like the same person, it's very frustrating. When, when Elaine couches me as the enemy, not only here, but when I ran for office, not, never having spoken to me, not knowing me from anywhere, it's very frustrating because I have spent decades trying to change the very things you are talking about. So if you are alienating me and the council is alienating you, who is winning? The 1%. So let's try to set up some ways to communicate. We have not done everything wrong. We have done some big things wrong. So have you. Let's try to come to some meeting of the minds and work together to make some change. You better listen to her, man. But all kidding of Nancy aside, she is correct. A lot of people just don't listen to each other in this mess. And it just seems like it's getting worse and worse.